33 years patient with cervical spine fracture and odontoid fracture C1C2 for with C1C2 subluxation for uh, cervical spine reduction and surgery. Okay, we are in, we are uh, inducing him conventionally and we want to intubate without any neck movements. We have conventionally induced. Now I am taking task scope for intubation. You can see the neck movement. Minimal or no neck movement is there. Okay, this we can visualize the epiglottis and larynx. And now inserting the boogie. Okay, the boogie has entered into the larynx, and over boogie, we are railroading the endotracheal tube. So practically, there is no neck movement during intubation with task scope for this patient, which is very important for anesthesia purpose, not to harm any not to give any harm to the patient. Thank you.